Welcome back to Biafra News Support, Biafra Ada Biafra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Depending on where you're watching me from, I bring you another news, another update. Enugu Governor Azemba has cried out how much they lose every Monday seat at home. This is just the beginning. They yeah, haven't started crying. Mba has not started crying. This is just the beginning. They want to stop seat at home by all means. Or well, they don't want to talk about Hamadike's unconditional release. They will be having a meeting in Abuja, as if Abuja is their father's land. They can no longer do meeting in Southeast because Hani Nanyachala and Hanalana are choosing also. This is just the beginning. So here is the headline. We lose over 10 billion every Monday seat at home. People cannot even stay in hotels. Enugu Governor Mba. <laughs> Before we continue with this very news, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're just coming across my channel for the first time, kindly click the red subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell to enable you get notification once I upload a new video. So, dear friends, Mba is crying out for people of goodwill. Mba is crying out. If they don't want to continue losing more and more, they should talk about a case on conditional release. I know some people will say, oh, you people are doing yourself. No. If our people don't come out to sell, these fools will not benefit. And it's not, a, it's not a lose on our people's side. For those of you that will be, you know, talking now, just know that if these flavors are not losing, they won't be crying and whining all the time. So let's go straight to the news before we continue the analysis. And by urge the PGS to speak to their people and make them understand that there was no such thing as a seat at home on Mondays or any other day. The governor of Enugu State, Peter Mba, has said that the state lose over 10 billion every Monday seat at home, uh, enforced by a faction <laughs> of the indigenous people of Biafra in the southeast region. The governor who made this known in Enugu while speaking at a meeting with the president general PG of all auto autonomous uh, communities in the state noted that the financial loss was re recorded due to the economic activities that were prevented from happening every Monday due to the illegal sit-at-home order. Okay. Since it's illegal, you push to stop it now. No, you push to not stop what costs sit-at-home or solve it and stop the sit-at-home. Let's see. Let's see how you people own Biafra land. No, let's see how you people own everywhere, how you people are feeding our people. Now, poor. Election time, you people will be begging, pretending to, to, to have all the plans. If you people manage to get to office on a wag, you people will turn to a tiger and uh, lions to your own people. You people know the cost of seat at home. Or Hamadika can continue being in their as a dungeon and uh, you people will be benefiting. Talk about Ahmadik if you people don't want to do what is right. You people should make sure Ahmadik is released. These you people don't want to support Biafra. You people should make sure Ahmadik is released. If not, you people lose more and more. And it's not a lose on our own people's side. That is what our people need to understand. Some of our people need to understand. If these flavors are not losing, they won't be crying, begging our people to come out. If it's our people that is losing, they won't be begging our people to come out. I know that we are not doing this for no reason. It's for Hamadike's unconditional release. Oh, Hamadike is there for us. And we can't just pretend as if uh, he's not there or nothing happened. If these uh, flavors are not losing, the same thing, uh, the same thing uh, Soludo said. He cried out. Immediately, he also entered office doing everything he can. Promised his uh, Fulani masters, oh, I will make sure sit at home stops. He tried. He terrorized his own people. And find out that it's not possible. It's on Hamadike's unconditional release. Our people insisted. They are not being forced to sit at home. They are sitting at home willingly in solidarity with our leader, Mazen Nam the Khan. And when they found out that they can't force the people to do what they want, to start terrorizing them. So we must continue with this very news. Mba urged PG to speak to their people and make them understand that there was no such thing as sit at home or uh, or any other day. It's important for us to understand the connection between poverty and this so-called sit at home. That's how you people will be deceiving yourself. There is nothing like poverty. It's you people that is losing. Okay? My people are that they are going to go to the shop. Each Monday that we sit at home, okay, we, 
Oh, not the people. I thought you're not sitting at home. We lose over 10 billion from economic activities that ought to have happened here in our state. But said people who ordinarily would have stayed in a hotel till Monday before they travel will decide uh, will decide against staying be, uh, beyond Sunday. So what happens? The revenue the hotelers would have generated is gone. Okay, people who would have come into Enugu to participate in one economic activity or the other won't show up because you say you are sitting at home on Monday. <laughs> The perception of insecurity the sit at home created will drill his uh, administration <coughs> administration sorry my people administration's uh, plan to move the economic of the state from a public sector driving economy to a private sector driving economy. The residents should never allow unelected persons to issue sit at orders to them. Uh, taking orders from such people would mean that someone was making them inferior without their consent. <laughs> Were you elected? <laughs> Look at this <laughs> certificate forger. Wait, wait, wait. wait Mbabiko, were you elected? You see, you criminals, that is how you people expose yourselves. I'm very sure no good people did not vote for you. But I am very sure, even if it's just few, um, few no good people that voted for you. They got no your shaman date. Keep deceiving yourself. You were forced on any good people like Hopo them. And that is why you're trying to make Enugu state uncomfortable for our people. And it will not work for you. It, will, it can never work. Biafran's own Biafran land. They make their own decisions. They choose to sit at home. You people can't force them out. During COVID-19, you people forced everybody to sit at home. Um, you were in politics then. What did you do? Did you provide palliative to your people? Benini. Somebody is making them a fear. Le good na no here. One day, poor pose are them are white. I know. If I thought you provided palliative our people, then now that you are governor, you are supposed to provide more. Say okay, since our people have choose to sit at home, they are not being forced in solidarity uh, with our brother that is in illegally detained in DSS dungeon. I'm going to do this to support them on their seat at home. Let the federal government release the name they can. But you can't do that. You can't do it. Because they stole another man's mandate and gave you with your forged certificate to do their bidding. Let's see how you own Enugu State. Since you people don't want to solve the problem or why people are sitting at home, you people don't want to solve the, the, the cost of sit at home. Let's see how you people stop sit at home. Now let's see how you go about it. That is why you're looking for money. You're crying about the amount you people are losing every month they sit at home. If you people don't want to continue losing this amount or much more, you people should go and uh, release the Hamadike, Mazenam they can, unconditionally. It's all of you in Nigerian politics, all of you a fools in Nigerian politics that planned his kidnap so that you people will be in one office or the other as you are now, the governor of Enugu State. And you think you can decide for Enugu people. When the only man that speaks for them is in illegally detained in DSS dungeon. You said the insecurity agencies had been put on alert. To ensure that measures are in place to ensure the protection of lives and properties in the state. Mba assure the people. Are you serious? Yeah. Really? Keep uh, putting a uh, security agency or whatever you, uh, you are putting in place. It can't, you people can't force our people out. Sit at home continues until you people do the need for. Nobody's going to stop sit at home in Biafra land. Those, go and ask those that tried. It, it seems you didn't ask. It didn't ask. Go and ask a solo dog. Go and ask opposite them. They all tried using a bag to terrorize our people, causing men in Biafra land to accuse IPOB and black mess and money. Their evil plans keep uh, backfiring. Even though uh, DSS said uh, these guys are non-government, they said they were all exposed. I started the Kubo boys, they were terrorizing our people, burning down houses, uh, burning buses and people's keke in Southeast. They would say, oh, it's IPOB, enforcing seat at home. This, this, all this trick you people use, none worked. Because this is Elohim's project. Ahamadike can continue being in DSS dungeon and you people will be benefiting and they look, look at the huge amount you're calling. Still Biafra land is like that like that. Look at the look at the, the shops. Look at the markets in Biafra land. You people are losing 10 billion. 10 billion is not enough to start or something. No, it's not enough. I know it's not going in one place in one state. But you people are taking it. How much are you people even taking? No, you people should tell us. If it's not enough to develop Biafra land, 
You people are crying about the money you people are losing. But look at how people hurt themselves. Look at the shops. You people, you people are trying. You people should go and tie them up and drag them out. Since you people won't sit at home to stop by all means. You people, all you people care about is your own pockets, your families and your relatives. The people no longer matter. But if it's election time, you people will be crying and going to markets, looking for poor people to eat with in the same plate, deceiving yourselves, thinking you people are deceiving all the people, deceiving the people. You people should keep fooling yourselves until Ahmadika is released, sit at home continues, and you haven't started crying. This is just the beginning. You people will lose more. And it's not a loss on our people's side. It's on you people's side. And that is how it continues. Our people that made it clear to all of you and the whole world, that they are sitting at home in solidarity with our Amadike, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. They are not being forced to sit at home. They are sitting at home willingly. So until you people do what they ask for, sit at home continues. You people will not expect them or force them to do whatever you people want all the time. COVID-19, you people forced everybody to sit at home. Heed all the palliatives. People were suffering. For those of you that will be ranting up and down, you people are enforcing people, forcing people to sit at home. You people are improvising the people. You people are doing this. You people are doing that. If these flavors are not losing, if they are not the ones losing, they won't be crying, begging our people to come out. And have it in mind that if it's your father, your brother, your relative that is illegally detained in DSS dungeon because he wants you to be free, you will not fold your hands. You push a stop ranted. You zone with you know. I won't ask you one walk now. Second one, that's the Nigerian government and Britain want all of us to die. We'll tell them or show them that we can survive. More than survive, self. They are rebellion. So that is it, my people. Mba is crying. This is just the beginning. Let him cry more. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comment at the comment section. Thank you all.